Joining us now, a guy that we do not see enough, and he's back in the fray and was just in New York City. We're a little angry. You're around the block. Senator Ted Cruz, <laughs> welcome back to Fox and Friends. Morning. Well, good morning. Good to be back. How would you characterize your visit with the president-elect? Uh, listen, it, it was very productive. I spent several hours uh, in Trump Tower, had, had the chance to meet with the president-elect, with the vice president-elect, with, with senior members of the transition team. And, and I think we had very good and productive conversations uh, about how we can work together to, to really deliver on the promises made to the American people. Uh, this election was a powerful mandate for change. I think the American people overwhelmingly said, we want to change the path we're on, and, and I am eager and committed to working with President-elect Trump, to working with the new administration, to get it done, to actually sure. delivering on what we told the voters we would do. So, Senator, when you say work with uh, President-elect Trump, are you talking about in the capacity as a U.S. Senator or in the capacity of somebody on his cabinet or an executive level job in the administration? Well, listen, I, I have an incredible job right now representing 27 million Texans, and I'm incredibly honored to hold that job, and it's a job I take very, very seriously. Um, I'm eager to work with the new president in whatever capacity uh, I can have the greatest impact defending the principles that, that I was elected to defend, mm -hmm. defending the, the principles of, of freedom, defending the Constitution. And, and, and we spent a great deal of time talking about how when the voters give Republicans control of the White House, control of every executive branch, control of the Senate, and control of the House, we've got to deliver. I mean, it is time right. to put up or shut up. And, mm -hmm. and I think there are incredible opportunities. I'm looking forward to working very, very closely with President Trump to deliver on his promise to repeal Obamacare. I'm looking to working very, very right. closely with President Trump to confirming strong Supreme Court justices and protecting the constitutional rights of Americans. Yeah. And, and I think that's what the voters are looking for. Senator, you were behind closed doors yesterday at Trump Tower. There's been a lot of criticism from media saying that the campaign or the administration is uh, in total chaos. They don't know what they're doing. They have not appointed yet a cabinet position. What was your sense being behind closed doors there with President-elect Trump? Is oh, it look, in total I, disarray? No, of course not. I, I thought that was complete silliness. Now, now, nobody should be surprised that there are media critics who are trying to throw rocks at the president-elect and at the transition team. That right. They don't want the president to succeed. Uh, what I saw from the president-elect on down to every person at the transition was, was men and women working hard with an enormous task in front of them, a task of bringing together a new administration, uh, of, of hopefully talented principles, effective leaders, right. leaders who will be loyal to the president and, and loyal to the agenda that he campaigned on, that, 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 that we promised the American people. And any transition is like drinking from a fire hose. You've got an That's enormous right. amount of work to do <laughs> in a short period well, of time, well, and, and I think they're hose. working very hard to get it done. So could you say, Senator, and these, this question is easy to duck, but I don't think you will. And that's my way of making you answer the question and making you feel guilty for not. Uh, but is, did he come up to you and say, listen, uh, I, I need my help on my first 100 days, or was it more about how do you feel about being attorney general? There was it, can you at least confirm that it was brought up about fe of feeling out of Ted Cruz about possibly joining the Trump team? Listen, we had a far-reaching conversation, and, and it was a good opportunity to talk about uh, the election, about the challenges facing the country. And I'll tell you really the heart of what we talked about is how we actually solve those challenges, how we get it done. Uh, President-elect Trump campaigned on making America great again. That is something I think the voters desperately want to see come to pass, to see happen. And I think right. the president-elect is very serious sure. uh, about making it happen. And, and from my end, I am eager, I am excited for the opportunity we have to come together and, and get the job done, th that's what our conversation focused on. Sure. Would it be safe to say, it sounds like, you and Donald Trump are pretty much on the same page? Uh, he and I have been fighting for a long time right. for many of the very same oh, principles. Oh, we remember. And, <laughs> but, but listen, the, the election was an incredible mandate. Uh, you know, as you know, all the polls, all the pundits said Donald Trump couldn't win. On election night, I think the Clinton campaign right. had already popped the champagne b bottles and they were already celebrating. Yeah. And, and then, then, you know, as they say, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. The voters showed up and they didn't just give Donald Trump a win. It right. was a resounding mandate. It wasn't a 271 electoral vote. It was winning across the Rust Belt, winning states like Pennsylvania, winning states like Wisconsin, winning, winning I hope, Michigan. That is 
a mandate of the American people saying we are going to change. Right. Pennsylvania. And, and, and you know, the campaign was maybe more personal to you and your family than, than anyone else. And, and you are now saying it is country before myself. It is country before party. And that's why you're accepting the results. Not everybody is, as you know, protests around the country, people not wanting to accept President-elect Trump as their next president. What is your message to them? Well, you know, we have seen hypocrisy on, on rank display from the left. All of the folks who jumped on their high horse and were lecturing to President-elect Trump, you've got to accept the results of the election. Uh, look, look, the, 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 these are now the idiots that are protesting in the street and laying their bodies down in front of cars and disrupting traffic. And, and uh, look, we had an election. The people spoke. Democracy is a powerful, powerful way of choosing. Right. And, and, you know... I think Americans across this country, and I think this is, this is across the, the line of Republicans, of Democrats, of Independents, of Libertarians, I think Americans are excited about the opportunity right. to have an administration that actually protects our rights, that, that brings back jobs. Senator, Listen, repealing yeah. Obamacare and lifting the burdens of Washington on small businesses, those are promises that were made, and, and those are promises I'm really excited about having the chance but, to work with President-elect Trump to deliver. Senator, but you don't have 60 senators. How far would you recommend the Senate go and Mitch McConnell go to get things done, to, to push the nuclear option that Harry Reid put forward? How close are you to endorsing that on all of Donald Trump's agenda or some of it? Listen, I think we need to do whatever is necessary to get the job done. And, and that, that was a lot of the, the topic of discussion when I was in Trump Tower. What, what was how we deliver. Um, you know, I, I, I think... If Republicans go to Washington and we don't deliver on what we promised, I think we'll be looking at, at pitchforks and torches in the street, and, and quite rightly. And, so and go that 51 if you happen. have to. Go 52, I, pass things with 52. Well, listen, we need to see how the Democrats respond. I mean, right now, the Democrats uh, seem to be in this, this bizarre spiral of getting nuttier and nuttier. I think the lesson they took from this election is they weren't liberal and extreme enough, and they've got to get even more whacked mm. out and disconnected from the American people. I, I hope some saner heads prevail in, yeah. in the Democratic Party. I hope there's some yeah. Democratic senators who actually want to come and, and do the job we've been given. But, but I think on the Republican side, we need to demonstrate resolve. We need to demonstrate the seriousness to deliver right. on these promises. I can tell you this. We are going to, I believe, repeal Obamacare. And we are going to confirm strong conservative Supreme Court justices to protect the Constitution and Bill of Rights. And, and if Democrats think they can stand in the way on that, I think they're sorely mistaken. Steel nuclear option. Well, let's see what happens. All right. Uh, Ted Cruz, the senator from the great state of Texas. Sir, thank you very much for joining thank us live you, today.